we have you. I am confident you are going back home this morning with your open door packages in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Every package that belongs to you that is long overdue in the course of this meeting, you are taking full scale delivery in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree the grace for timely help rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. The grace to avoid evil judgment rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace for distinction, the grace for you to be set aside for the limelight goes back home with you now in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we dive into the message this morning, I want to pray just one prayer from Genesis 8 verse 4. Genesis 8 verse 4. He said, And the ark rested in the seventh month. On the seventh day of the month upon mountains of Ararat. And the ark of Noah rested in the seventh month. On the seventh day of the month upon Mount Ararat. We must understand from that scriptures that there was a flood. And by time, Noah keeps sending the bird to go check if fully the flood had been averted. But at the time, the ark rested on Mount Ararat, which means the course has been reversed. That means the course of the flood has been reversed. Mount Ararat means the course was I'll be reversed. I do yet under my voice this hour. You are laboring under a course. It does not matter your intelligence, your, 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 your skills. It's not yielding. There is not adequate result. There is no relevant result in your labor. But God is telling you tonight, He's telling you this day that the course has been reversed. How do I know? Genesis 8 verse 4. He said, And the ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventh day of the month, upon Mount Ararat, which means the course has been reversed. Amen. I make a decree this hour. Every course under which you labor, you are laboring like an elephant. There is no adequate result. Sir. That course was reversed this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. every course under which you labor academically, business-wise, concerning your ministry, Every cost that is warring against your, your, your financial advancement in the course of this meeting this morning, I decree that cost is reversed. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this prayer, Paul and Akle. Say, every cost under which I labor. Every cost under which I labor. Be reversed this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray this for voice. Every cause under which we live up by the hand of God, I decree it reversed. The scripture says, and the ark rested in the seventh mountain on the seventh day of the mountain upon Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat means the cause have been reversed. The cause have been reversed. The cause of the flood have been reversed. So now you cannot live up anymore under any cause. Begin to declare it. Every cause under which I live up, I decree it right now. Be reversed. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Every cause under which I live up, I I decree be cancelled. I make a decree. Every cause under which you labor, I decree be cancelled. Be cancelled this hour. Be cancelled this hour. We reverse them. We reverse them. Every cause under which you labor, I decree we reverse them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I make a decree over every one of my voice. Every cause under which you labor, every cause under which you labor, concerning your work, concerning your family, concerning your ministry, by the voice of God that calls the hands to cover, that cause is reversed, that cause is broken, that cause is reversed, that cause is broken, that cause is reversed, that cause is broken. This our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I make a decree this morning. Because the course have been reversed, I decree from this day, everywhere you go, you will be accepted. Amen. I decree the grace for you to have all sufficiency in all things. Rest upon you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the grace for you to express open doors per time this month. Rest upon you. Amen. Because the course have been reversed, the grace for you to recover all your losses, sir. 
I decree rest upon you this hour. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tie into righteous God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say the course have been reversed. Say the course have been reversed. Say the course have been reversed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Welcome once more again into KRIC where God lives. I know whatever will be your desire today, the God of this commission shall meet you dearly. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's again thank God for all he has done for us, for making it possible for you to be alive, to be in church this morning. Thank Give God thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we are come to give you thanks this hour again because you have done all things well. Receive all the glory, Lord. All honor belongs to you forever. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For that we are about to get to dive into your world, give everyone of God spiritual understanding. Amen. For that give everyone today an understanding of your word. Amen. As your word is coming forth again, let every need be met. Amen. Let every doubt be dissolved. Amen. Let everyone receive divine direction. Amen. Let every wall of the code collapse flat. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For that speak through my vocal call this day Amen. for your people. Amen. Thank you, righteous God, you, for the reign of the world. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. But the grace of God is our month of open doors from above, divine open doors, our month of open doors, the month of March. And I'm confident that the God of heaven will help you out. And our anchor scripture for the month is Revelation 3 verse 7. Revelation 3 verse 7 is our anchor word of God for the month. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things. See it, he that is holy, he that is true, he that had the king of David, he that opened it, and no man shut it, and shut it, and no man opened it. He said, For I know that works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Verse 8 to be precise. He said, For I know that works. That means nothing escape the knowledge of Christ. God knows your works, He knows what you are going through, He knows that desire that is so itchy that you want. It come to pass by her means. He said, I have set before thee and opened up. God is telling you that he knows your work. You may not have the skills, you may not have the talent. He said, I know your works. He said, For I set before thee and opened up, and no man can shut it. Amen. God is saying, No man has the capacity to shut these doors. It does not matter where they are contending from. God is saying, And no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength. And has kept my word. So we must understand that God has opened doors for us. Mm -hmm. And today, by the grace of God, we shall be looking at understanding the open door power of the world. Understanding the open door power of the word of God. Our dream this morning, as the Lord liveth, is understanding. The open door power of the word of God. From scripture we understand the word of God is all we need. Our open door package lies in God's word. Act 20, 32. Act 20 verse 32. And now brethren, Paul was speaking. I commend you to the word of his grace. Which is able to build you up. And give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. So our open door packages, our inheritance in the kingdom lies in God's word. So as we begin to dive in, into God's word, we begin to unless our inheritance. As we begin to seek and search into God's word. We begin to see what our inheritance come to pass. We must understand that any word of God that does not move us into action 
has not yet been found. Any word of God that does not move you into action has not been found or be revealed. Amen. Matthew, Hebrews 11, 7. He said, By faith, Noah being warned of God of the things not seen yet, moved with fear and prepared an ark to the saving of his house. God spoke to Noah that the flood is coming, and I believe the time span between when that word was spoken and when it actually came to pass was almost a century. The Bible said, And Noah, being one of the Lord of the things not yet seen, moved with fear and been on heart. We must understand that the word of God in this kingdom, according to Matthew 13 from 44, he said, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure. He is in a field, the which when the man had found it, he hid it, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he had, and buy that field. Verse 25. He said again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto the merchant man seeking godly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, what went and sold all that he had and bought it. So our treasure is in the kingdom, is hidden, is embedded in God's world. Your open door for this world is in God's world. Like the scripture said that it's like a treasure hill in the field. That means you must commit to searching. You must commit to seeking the kingdom. Why? Because the things of God in the kingdom is in his world. They say, which when a man had found it, how? Why? He hid it, and for joy, therefore, go ahead and sell it. That's why any word that has not been found, any word that does not move you, when it can, has not been found, the scripture says, And the man found the word, he hired it, and for joy, therefore, he went and sold all that he had to buy that spot. So we must understand in the kingdom, all that we have, all that belongs to all that we ever have, is in God's word. Your open door packages in God's word. Amen. Now, what is an open door? An open door what is an unrestricted access to the goodness of life that pertains to godliness and destiny. Amen. An open door what is an what unrestricted access to everything that pertains to life and destiny. Actually, I do my work in our daily at Planet Fitness. And there was a time I wanted to upgrade to what they call black card. Black card in Planet Fitness is a step upward. And there are benefits. And some of the benefits is what? Access to about 2,000 locations across the nation. That means when you have this black card, you can have access to other locations. But if you have the regular card, that means you can only access one of the locations near you. So when you take a step forward, which is, there are other financial strength to it, but once you decide to acquire the black card, you have more access to other locations. So the word of God is like a black card. So when you have this word of God in any area of challenge in your life, you gain access and divine open doors. That becomes your experience. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, what are some of the examples of open doors in the world from scriptures? The door of the prison opened for Joseph to regain his freedom when his world came. Psalm 105 verse 17. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sought for his servant, verse 18, whose feet they up with fetters. The Bible said that he was laid in iron until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. The king said and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go. Until his word came, Joseph was a prisoner. Until his word came, he was living an opposite life. Until his word came, he couldn't have access to the things that pertain to destiny. He slept as a prisoner, but when the word came, he woke up. As a prime minister. Amen. So our open door packages lies in this world. I decree this hour grace for speedy access to God's word, 
grace for ordinable access to God's world to enable you claim for to enable you obtain your inheritance rest upon you now in Jesus name. Amen. So we understand that the door of the prison opened for Joseph to regain his freedom when his world came. Sometimes God's will for us attract challenges. God's will for us will always attract a position. That is why part time we must work gain supernatural access into his world for us for the moment. So of the examples again of open doors in the scripture. We saw it in Daniel 9 verse 2. The door of liberty from captivity from Israel became possible when Daniel found what was written in the book of Jeremiah. Written, written, written the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Daniel 9 2. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the numbers of the year. Wherefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. The prophet that he would accomplish what 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem. That means if we don't know where God has called us, if we don't know our purpose in life, we end up doing other people's business. So from that scripture, he understood by books the number of the years, wherefore the word of the Lord came to the mind. He understood and it became possible for him. He did not remain what in that captivity. He knew that everything that was going through was an appointed time. So when we don't know where God has positioned us, the enemy will be taking us for a ride. So we must understand that is why we must fight to engage God's world. That is why we must do everything to have access to God's world. Jeremiah which is never stand. For those say the Lord. That after 70 years, be accomplished and coming up, I will visit you. So Jeremiah understood that uh, the stagnation must not exceed what 70 years. No more that Ephesians says, for our light affliction was which for a moment. So if you do not understand that what you are going through for a moment, you will keep going through that thing until the world ends. So we must understand what time per time our season. Some persons are in their ready season. Why some there are so many season? So in God's word, we understand our season by time. You will not miss it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When your word comes, the chains are broken. So it is good every man understood is our season. Why? Because your word, once your word comes, every chains are broken. Don't mistake someone's reaping season for a sowing season for you. So some persons around you. They may be in their sowing season, so they may be in their reaping season. Understand which season you belong to, so that you not live an endless life. Amen. I decree a great for you to know where you belong. Rest upon you this day. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So the door of manifestation and ministry for people was opened for the Master Jesus when he found what was written concerning him. The door of manifestation and ministry fulfillment was opened for Jesus Christ when he discovered where it was written concerning him. Luke 4, 16. He says, And he came to Nazareth. He had been brought up, and his custom was, he went into the synagogue on a Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to them that are blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Verse 19. To preach the assembly of the Lord. And, to, and he closed the book and he gave it again to the master. From that scripture, Jesus Christ understood his assignment. He knew where he belongs. He knew where he belongs. That is why today, as you engage in a vivid search of God's word, every door that must be open, I decree them hope now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. they are hope now. Amen. They are hope now. Amen. Every door of progress, door of breakthrough, they will be shut.
shout against you, I decree, let those doors be open. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. No wonder Jesus Christ experienced what notable miracles because he understood his assignment. Yes, so your breakthrough packages, your open door packages is in God's word. Amen. So when something becomes a revelation, it has become a manifestation. Amen. That is why we must assess what the spirit behind the world. So when you locate what it is written, when you locate what is written concerning you, you command attention of nations. Amen. That is your experience. So, Amen. so when you know what is written concerning you, you cannot be written up by men. The reason why they tolerate you, the reason why men look as if it's not working for you, because you don't know what is written concerning you. When you know what is written concerning you, you become a living written episode. That becomes your experience. Amen. That becomes your experience. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number four. The door of frustration was closed and the door of satisfaction was open for Peter when the word came to him in his distress. Amen. Luke 5 from verse 1. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were born out of them and were washing their legs. And he entered into one of the sheep which was Simon, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, launch out of the deep and let down your net for a drought. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at the words, the word of Simon came forth. He said, I will let down the net. And when they have this done, they enclose what a great what multitude of fishes and their net got broken. How? Because God's word came for Simon. Simon understood the terrain of fishing. He understood that the best time to go fishing is the night. Why? Because that is the best weakness that the fish experience in the night time. He understood how, he understood the principle, humanly speaking, on how to go fishing. But this time, this principle failed him until Jesus Christ came to his rescue. Jesus Christ came to the rescue and released the wall. And he let down the net. And all of a sudden, all that could do achieve all to the night begin to come in. Yeah. I decree from today, everywhere you have labored and there was there you not received results. By the word of God this morning, I decree open doors for you. Amen. Every labor you have so far without results. By God's word today, I decree doors are open on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, how the word of God open doors? We're going to take a few because for our time, I'm going to shut down. How the word of God open doors? One, the word of God presents represents spiritual keys for the opening of diverse doors for God's people. How the word of God, how the word of God open doors for us? We must understand that the word of God represents spiritual keys. Matthew 16, 16. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Verse 17. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood are not revealed unto thee, but thy Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gifts of heaven will not prevail against him, and I will give unto the keys of the kingdom. So, as we unveil God's word for time, as we search and seek the voice behind the letter, we begin to receive keys to everything that pertains to life and destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He says, And upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of heaven, and I will give unto him what the keys of the kingdom. So the keys that you need, every area of life has a keys. Your marriage has a key, Amen. your friend has a key. Amen. So as you begin to seek relevant truth in the scripture, as regard the issue, you begin to gain command over that issue. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I make a decree, let your eyes really be enlightened as you study God's word. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Luke 11 to 2. 
He said, Walk unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. So the breakthrough you need is in God's word. So every knowledge you get command over, you control that door that pertains to that knowledge. Jesus Christ was warning his lawyers at this time. He said, Walk unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye enter not in yourself, and them that will enter in you, you hinder. No more the scripture says that true knowledge shall my just ones be delivered. So in the kingdom, we fly by revelation, we fly by light. Mm -hmm. The deeper the insight in God's word, the more majestic the work. So mm -hmm. as you begin to get insight, as you begin to get insight, you begin to walk in revelation. Doors begin to open unto you. I decree today as I have commanded them. Every door that will be shut against your children. Every door that will be shut against your destiny. Every door that will be shut against this commission. Between now and the next three hours, I command those doors to be open. Let those doors 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 be open. Every marital door that will be shut against your children. I decree this hour. Let those doors be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, mighty they will pray. Amen. But the grace of God will continue again next week on how the word of God opened doors because of our time. Took only just one key. Next week we will continue again with some of the examples that will take us to where God wants to want us to be. But we must understand that if you are not saved, you cannot expect to open doors. If you are not saved. Around the globe, under my voice, just say after me, say, Jesus, Jesus come, into my life. come into my life. Make me your home. Make me your home. I, accept you I accept you as my Lord and personal, personal Savior. I am saved. I am, saved. I am, I am born, again. born again in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree to them the saving grace that brought you to the kingdom will keep you. Amen. In this journey, you will not be worried. Amen. I decree you are preserved in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. We are free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the King of Kings. Yeah, hallelujah. Please, if you are giving again this hour, begin to speak to your offering, your tithe, your seed faith, whatever you are giving to the King of Kings, begin to speak to it right now. Begin to speak to your tithe, attach something to it. While we are doing that, let's remember again from scriptures. Second Corinthians 9, verse 6 to 15. Second Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 6. He said, But this I say, he which sweat sparingly shall also reap sparingly, and he which sweat bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man, according as he has proposed in his heart, so let him give. That means the church is not in need, not grudgingly or for necessity, for God of a cheerful giver. And God is also. Of, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that ye always have what all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. So our giving into the kingdom is of our own good. Amen. Why? Because the house of God, the word, the word is never in need. So we are giving for us to be blessed. So as you give to them, every closed door is open for you. Amen. Now if you are ready by your feet, if you are offering help right now as I pray. Father, we thank you again thank you, Jesus. for this seed you have brought. You have given us to give again to your kingdom. Amen. Let this seed, O oh God, be a sweet for the to your throne. Amen. Through this seed, O oh God, let doors be opened unto us. Amen. Doors of breakthroughs, Amen. financial favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. doors of scaling greater heights. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. through this seed, I decree. So one of my voice is being launched into diverse of financial fortune. Amen. I decree you are blessed Amen. in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please cast your offering in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you want to give our life, please go to our Facebook page. You can find our giving information there. Amen. Or look to our YouTube page. Our thumbnail information is there to give. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember again, our, our prayer call continues on Monday. Uh, uh, at the same time, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Please tell someone, tell someone that again, Jesus will pass it by in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you want to give again, you don't know how to give, please you can call this number plus 1682 360 1115. 
plus one six eight two three six zero one 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 five. I decree you are blessed. Amen. Your offering is blessed. Amen. I decree the grace to overcome and rise and shine in life. Go home before go home with you this hour. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace to do well in life. I decree rest upon you now. Amen. I decree this week will be most favorable for you. Amen. In this room, there shall be no death in this camp. Amen. There shall be no calamity. Amen. There shall be no sorrow. Amen. I decree the grace for longevity rest upon you. Amen. The grace to recover your loss rest upon you. Amen. I decree this week is blessed for you. Amen. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Pastor Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, righteous God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Surely. God, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life. And we shall do the house of the Lord forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Go in peace and return to testimony. Amen. In 